Welcome back to Two Brothers Comics. I'm Nick and today I'm going to walk you through the history of DC Comics. So we all know what DC Comics is today, the publishing branch of DC Entertainment. But do you know how it grew into the media powerhouse that it is today? Stay tuned to the end of the video for some trivia that most people don't know. All right, so it all started in 1934, almost 100 years ago. Uh, Major Malcolm Wheeler Nicholson founded a company by the name of National ILAD Publications. In 1935, NAP published New Fun, which is actually the first comic book that wasn't just a reprint of old comic strips from newspapers. Shortly, this was followed by New Comics Number 1, and the size of this book was actually to become the standard for what we now know as the Golden Age comic books. Now, New Comics eventually became what we know now as Adventure Comics that basically ran for 50 years. Soon after, in December of 1936, Detective Comics started. Well, that was the publication date. It didn't actually publish until March of 1937. Now, we all know why Detective Comics has become as historical as it is, issue 27. Drop me a comment down below if you know what that first appearance is. Now, Major Malcolm ended up leaving uh, the company the same year due to some debt issues, basically with him and his partners. The magazine distributors he partnered up with, Harry Donenfeld and Jack Lebowitz, 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 Jack Lebowitz, we're going with that one, took over the company. Now, after some more mergers, uh, in the 1940s, National Periodical Publications was created. In 1969, uh, NPP was purchased by Kinney National Company, and then of course it did go on to be published by Warner Brothers. But at what point did DC Comics actually start to be called DC Comics? And what does DC actually stand for in DC Comics? Now we'll get to that in a minute, but if you're enjoying the video so far, smash that like button, it does help out a lot. So after DC Comics created New Fun, New Comics, and Detective Comics, their fourth publication would be Action Comics in 1938. Now, Action Comics number one would, of course, introduce one of, if not the most iconic superhero in all of comic book history, Superman. Of course, DC is continuing on to this day, creating more comics, creating more characters, uh, and of course, we're getting to see a lot more coming from DC. And whether you're happy with what they're doing now or not, I thought that was a very interesting kind of throwback into comic history uh, to see exactly how it was DC Comics got their initial start, similar to what we did last week with Marvel Comics and Timely Comics. What does DC Comics actually stand for? Detective Comics. But for that fun trivia I mentioned earlier, DC Comics didn't actually become officially DC Comics until 1977. Up until that point, it was just a colloquial term everybody used to refer to DC Comics. But in 1977, that's when they officially adopted that name. So I hope you enjoyed this week's Two Minutes in Comic Book History. Let me know down in the comments what you would like to see us talk about next. And if you enjoy this kind of content, along with unboxing, reviews, creator interviews, and all things comments, I invite you to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell because we all know YouTube's uh, notifications can be a little bit unreliable. So go ahead and turn on that bell and that'll notify you as soon as we drop videos. And guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, collect your way.